yeah, if we have only a uh, numbers only means the machine can able to understand the number numerical parts and uh, float also, but it can able to understand uh, anything uh, in terms of string or uh, some kind of text. So mm. what we are going to do is uh, convert these uh, strings into some numerical values. So if it's a category means we will be assigning some uh, integer values like that uh, we will be uh, going on or uh, in text attributes uh, we will be converting that into some vectors. So majority of the time we will be using a label encoder. So this is a Python module and the concept also. So this label encoder, what it actually does is, uh, let's say we have uh, four seasons. So some uh, enter item fall. So we are going to convert this uh, four se seasons into numerical attributes. So if you just uh, use this uh, function, it will automatically uh, encode uh, in directly. So summer will be zero, winter will be one, and this will be two, and this will be three. Like this, so it will automatically categorize your uh, particular column. It will make it into arrays, basically. Um, yeah, it will just uh, convert this uh, text into numbers, that's it. Mm -hmm. So apart from this, you can manually assign some uh, text using a dictionary. So if you have a dictionary means, let's say D is a dictionary, so you will be having a key as summer and the value as that particular uh, number. You can uh, name this number anything you want. So if you want to follow a particular order, like uh, sometimes the category will be in terms of ordinal values. So for that, uh, you need to follow a particular order number. Mm -hmm. When uh, you are facing that scenario, it's better to go with this uh, dictionary formats because uh, you can able to manually adjust the numbers uh, in your way. In label encoding, it will just uh, categorize the values automatically uh, based on the arrangement. If it's a different arrangement means like uh, I've just uh, said summer and uh, winter, but it usually don't come like that. So yeah, yeah. after summer, what will uh, come like autumn or fall? Uh, autumn. Okay, so it will be ordinal, right? So zero can be assigned to this and one can be assigned to this can be assigned to this like that uh, you can uh, assign some numbers in a more, more meaningful way so that is uh, much more uh, efficient uh, while uh, doing this pre-processing stuff mm -hmm. yeah and uh, yeah, you can manually use the dictionary also apart from that you have one hot encoding Similar to this, uh, it won't. Uh, it is also changing to numbers, but for each category, it will just create a new column. Let's say some uh, winter item fall. So like this, for each category, it will create a new column. So let's say if we have a data set and that particular column has a uh, category summer. So summer will be having one and the rest of the attributes will be having zero. So, so if it's, it's basically a true and false. Yeah. Okay. So in this way, uh, the models can able to easily understand whether the category is present or not. And usually uh, save some space we will just drop this first column because if you just remove this uh, first column, so if you just remove this first column, if all the values are zero means the first column is automatically will be one. Like that uh, machines can mm -hmm. able to understand that. So if you are doing this processing for um, multiple columns means it will just save some uh, little bit of space, but uh, there is also another drawback. If the category number of categories is large, let's say uh, the number of categories is 20 to 30 means uh, 20 to 30 new columns will be uh, created in the data set. 
if the data set has like uh, millions of sample and you are also creating additional features like this means it will increase the data set size so large and it will automatically increase the training time also so yeah if you have like a uh, more amount of data means it's better to go with the uh, level encoding if you have just less number of features or less number of data means you can able to go for one hot encoding but it will definitely improve your uh, performance at least by 0.5 to 1 percent because of this uh, one hot encoding but it's only for a uh, uh, small number of features yeah yeah it produces uh, so many features uh, based on the number of categories let's say if we have a category like uh, gender uh, that does have like two categories and apart from that if you have like a true or false uh, category means that is also two category so mm -hmm. for that you don't need to do anything because we have like less number of categories you can uh, easily use one hot encoding but uh, for large number of categories uh, i think it's better to go with the uh, label encoder and okay. yeah uh, in order to overcome this uh, drawbacks in one hot encoding there is another encoding called uh, binary encoding so binary values also uh, follows this same representation right uh, so if the maximum number of uh, categories let's say eight means we can able to represent the category using uh, three columns so zero 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 will be uh, considered as zero that will be first column so zero and zero zero one will be one so like this, uh, if you can just consider it as uh, this one. So summer will be assigned zero. You can uh, directly represent the zero as this uh, binary encoding. Mm -hmm. So this is also true or false. It just uh, represents an integer. Uh, yeah, like uh, there are uh, limited only. Um, if it uh, goes in powers of two. So even if you have like uh, so many columns, uh, like so many number of categories means it's somewhat uh, limited to this number of columns. Let's say two to, to, the, to the power of five is uh, 32 like that. You will be having uh, less number of features due to this uh, binary encoding, but it also follows this uh, one hot encoding format. So there are also other encoding like a hash encoding. And there are so many encodings competitions uh, um, people used to use this uh, binary encoding a lot uh, in order to save some space. But if you see majority of the projects, uh, they will follow these two, two encoding methods only because it is much more efficient than this other encoding techniques. Okay.